All right, so many people ask me this question. What's behind the name Small Talks? Because you're probably thinking, aren't small talks the type of conversation you have when you meet someone new and you're trying to feel the awkward silence? Well, yeah, that's true, but I've kind of redefined small talks for this context. The reason why I'm calling my devotional small talks has a lot to do with my story. Let me tell you about it. I've been living with a rare lung disease since 2009. This lung disease is characterized by persistent cough, shortness of breath. Now, there isn't a cure for this condition, but I've been able to get treatment for my symptoms, which has allowed me to live a close to normal life. Like I could play tennis or basketball if I wanted to. And a large part of my job is to work as a public speaker, which requires a lot of breath and energy. So I would say that I, I had been living and coping pretty well with this disease. Well, in 2014, things took a turn for the worse. My body stopped responding to treatment, and as a result, my lung capacity dropped dramatically. Walking from one room to another would wear me out. I could no longer speak for long periods of time, and subsequently, I could no longer work as a public speaker. So I lost my job, and I could no longer fulfill my uh, ministry duties at church. It felt like everything was being stripped away from me. I was discouraged. I was devastated. And then one day, something clicked. I realized that the very thing the enemy was trying to attack in my life was the very thing that was a threat to his kingdom of darkness. I realized that, that the enemy was trying to silence my voice because I believed that that was what God wanted to use most for his glory. So I decided that the enemy would not win. He would not silence me. So on my sick bed, I started recording an audio devotional project called Small Talks. See, I figured that though I didn't have enough breath to speak for extended periods of time, I could give small talks. I could speak for three to five minutes with no problem. So Small Talks devotional was birth, and it was simply my offering to the Lord. I was offering the little breath that I had back to God. So since then, I relaunched Small Talks devotionals, and I continue to record small, short audio devotionals that are available on most platforms. See, one thing I learned while battling this respiratory disease is that though I may have some real physical limitations, God is not limited in the way that he can use me. The calling on my life didn't change when I was diagnosed with this disease. Just because the circumstances in my body changed, it didn't mean my calling changed. You know, and that's really the heart behind small talks. I know many of you guys are called to do amazing things. You're called to something, but maybe you feel like you don't have the right circumstances to pull it off. Maybe you feel like you don't have enough money or education. Maybe you feel too old or too young, or maybe your season of life has changed. Maybe you're a parent now. Maybe you're a mom or dad. Uh, maybe you're married or widowed or divorced. Maybe the circumstances in your body has changed. Maybe you're retired. Well, let me just say this, no matter the circumstance or season you find yourself in, whatever you're called to do, do it. See, your calling is not confined by your circumstance. Think of Paul, the apostle. He was called to preach the gospel and he preached, right? In whatever circumstance, whether he was free or in jail. Imagine if Paul would have said, I can only walk in my calling when I'm free, when I'm not in jail. If he had that mentality, we wouldn't have the book of Philippians today. So the church of Philippi would not have been strengthened. We wouldn't have Colossians and so many others. So whatever you're called to do, do it, no matter the circumstance you find yourself in. So just simply ask God this question. How do you want to use me in this season? How do you want to use my gifts in this particular circumstance? When I asked God that question some years ago, I felt like the devotional small talks was his answer. So yeah, that's the meaning behind the name small talks devotional. You can listen to my audio devotionals anywhere you listen to podcasts. There are close to 50 available for you. And I hope you join me as we have small talks about a big God.